let's talk about the flip features. It is really challenging to open Z Flip 4 with one hand. I mean, sure I can, but I'm not about to break the screen with the amount of pressure I'm putting on it, especially if I have long nails. And the phone already has a fragile screen, so just don't do it. It's, it's not worth the risk. <laughs> The cover screen is one of the main features that really caught my attention, but hold on, don't get too excited about it. The screen is really tiny, which really limits what I can do with it. I mean, for the most part, I need to unfold my phone to get the full picture if I'm checking the weather or changing the music. Even when I use it to skip songs, I have to unfold my phone because I can't look up the songs to pick the one I want. I literally can skip them or go back to the recent songs by tapping my earbuds, so the cover screen is just giving out basic functionality and aesthetics. Even if I pull up the music app, the screen is really tiny, so it just kind of takes more time for me to even look up the song or actually pick it and use the search bar unless it's already on the screen. And if you're watching this, I would assume you already heard about how a flip phone screen is more fragile than a regular phone. With that said, yes, you want to keep the screen protector on unless you want to risk breaking the screen. But that's really not the real problem. It's that after months of having this phone, my screen protector started coming off. Um, especially on the crease sides, so I literally had to go get a new one. I mean, it is true that Samsung will replace it within one year of buying the phone, but who wants to go and drive for 30 minutes plus to get to the closest service center? Like, I don't want to do that. Or the other option is to ship my phone and wait for 14 days. Last time I checked, I don't really have three phones laying on my bed. So what did I end up doing? I literally just got myself a $20 screen protector, but it's not really as good as the one that came with the phone. So this issue is still kind of going on. Okay, so the crease isn't really bad. And even though I kind of got used to it, but I'm still really bothered by it. It's just like really tricky trying to hide it. I need to have my phone at a certain brightness level and it's more visible if the color on my screen is a solid color. And also I gotta hold it at a very specific angle and that kind of gets sickening over time because I keep noticing it. Okay, so I have some mixed feelings about flex mode. In theory, it does sound cool, but for the most part, I don't really need it. I had this phone for about eight months now, and I literally can count the number of times I actually used this feature. But at the same time, it's kind of conflicting because I would truly be disappointed if this feature didn't exist in the first place, especially that it's a flip phone. Sadly, when it comes to the camera, I feel like I went backward. 
especially since I had Note 20 Ultra before this phone and its camera quality was way better. Yes, it is true that the camera is flexible and you can see yourself from the cover screen and all of that. But after really trying it, it kind of has more limitations. Like, I can't even see the actual dimensions on the cover screen and that kind of defeats the purpose in my opinion. Especially if I want to know what's included in the picture and I don't want to just take a random picture or just see the middle part. Some people will tell you that this phone is fast. Uh, yes and no. I use this phone as my primary phone and it lags on me sometimes every once in a while when I'm using it. Especially if I have a lot of apps open at the same time. Flex Cam is really great. I feel like it's one of the things that also attracted me about this phone but it's only great if you're like more of a portrait style person because obviously you can move it back and forth and tilt it to adjust the angle which is good but sometimes i want it in landscape style so when it comes to that i can't really adjust it as much because i can't move it back and up which kind of limits it because I still have to use something to adjust the angle, you know, like a tripod or something like that. So it kind of makes me feel like, oh, there's really not much difference unless I'm looking for a portrait style. But at the same time, I don't really use that often. So it's kind of conflicting because I'm not really getting what I'm exactly looking for. The case is one of the main reasons why I'm tolerating this phone. It's bulky when folded and kind of long when unfolded. So the ring support is just crucial, especially that I don't want to drop it or if I want to constantly hold it with one hand. If you don't have a case with a ring, I just can't imagine how you would operate this device and get yourself to like it. Now, if you ask me, Rima, why are you keeping this phone if you don't like it? Well, money doesn't grow on trees. That's one. And after spending that much money, I'm just gonna kind of suck it up and use it for a year or two tops. Also, even though this phone lacks in many aspects, I'd rather have it than have a traditional phone. Because after using a flip phone, I just can't go backward at this point. 